Hello, my name is Jonathan Fabricant and you're in my print studio in West Copac, New York. I'm here today because I had a quandary. This print right here is unfinished and I thought I'd like to work on it. So I went looking for a block that I was going to reprint on it in a different color, but I couldn't find it. And I remembered it's in an installation at the reinstitute of my work in a show called Material Sustenance with three other artists. I really want to work on this piece. So I thought, maybe I'll just go over there and borrow it. Coming towards the Re-Institute, look how beautiful this area is. I'm going down White House Crossing, and I'm gonna hit Boston Corner. Now we're approaching the Re-Institute, which is right here, down this little road. There it is, the barn. My God. Hey, Henry. Hey, listen, I didn't tell you I was coming, but I wanna borrow one of the things out of my exhibition because I want to print it and I'll bring it right back. Okay. Would you mind filming me doing it? Um, sure. All right, I'm gonna, Here. I'm gonna turn this. Start mine. Oh, 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 you're, you're turning yours off. Right. There you go. Tell me when to go. All right. You go. <laughs> so this is the door. I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to lock this place up. Um, and, uh, well, here is the exhibition space. I'm gonna turn on the lights. I'm gonna turn off the fan so we don't turn off the of that. Fan. Yeah. So um, this is the uh, Institute main exhibition space. There's another one downstairs where we have Nico Sedgwick in his own show called Family Snapshot. Snapshot. Yep. So there's a whole other show downstairs, but this is four artists, including myself. This is my exhibition. This is the piece. This is the block I bought. I'm just going to take that right now. Hold on, let's see it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> you know what happened was I, I put this green in to make it look better on the wall. Uh huh. And then there was all this uh, uh, paint on here, so I printed it. And that's the block that I ah, okay. want to so use. Halfway done. Yeah, well, that, you know, I was just messing around. So this is uh, Tom Goldenberg. Uh, and uh, here. I'm not going to say anything about their work. I'll let you all look okay. at it. Um, this is uh, Frank Jackson. These are um, frescoes. These other ones are oil paintings. Um, these are frescoes. Um, and uh, egg tempera, and the frames are plaster and rabbit skin glue. Yeah, the frames are really amazing, actually. They, they, it's a whole thing. It's almost sculptural. Yeah. At, and, and it's, well, definitely in its physicality. So this is uh, Russell Steiner, and he does these whimsical pieces of furniture and um, these oil paintings. And Henry's really obsessed with this blue, little blue square. A little blue square. A little blue square. It's, yeah. it's his idea of, of, of where he's going. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, so this is the adult room over here with the, this furniture, and then over here is the kids' room with these kinds of pieces of furniture, including a very whimsical corral. Uh-oh, the guy with the red dot fell down. We'll just put him back up. Oh, well, maybe we'll lean him. Maybe did, can't, there you go, yes. Ah! <laughs> He's a bit animated. We might edit this out. Okay, well, Good luck on your travels. All right, well, I'll, I'll bring it back before the weekend when this place opens, so there's not a okay. spot. Yeah, we're open one until four, 
uh, on Saturday until uh, July 15th. Yeah, you should all come down here. It's an amazing place. It's beautiful work, and uh, it's really worth the visit. Yeah, and as you can see from this video, the, the drive is also pretty. <laughs> see you soon. All right, bye. Oh, getting in the car with the piece. I mean the block. There well, it is. Here I am. Almost home at the studio. Hello. Here I am back in the, the studio in Copake. And unfortunately, I made a mistake. I thought the video camera was running and I printed everything. This is what I ended up with. This is an empty piece of paper. This is the block that I rolled up. And there's the ink. And I printed this. I showed a before and after. Now we just have an after, which is a little disappointing, unfortunately. Uh, but I will show you the printing process on this blank piece of paper. We'll try it again. So I rolled out the ink and I rolled up this block. I'm going to roll it less heavy than I did on this one. I want to print this, print this lightly. Because I think I want to work into it secondarily. So I'm going to print it lightly. I'm printing by hand using a spoon and a baron as opposed to printing on the press. Um, I'm going to lay this down, try to center it as best as I can. And once it's down, it should stick to the paper enough so that I can flip it over without losing my registration. We'll see. All right. So now I'm going to buff this down with this spoon. You can see the print coming through as I buff it down. One thing nice about this technique is you can kind of watch your print coming to life. I want it to be grainy. I'm not printing this too sharply because I might print it again like I did with this one, but opposite, starting with a dark color and maybe going on with a light one. <clears throat> So as I said, you can you can check what you're doing. You can see the lines of my buffing. So I I, I, I need to try to even that out. I think I'll try this barren and see if I get a more even print. I probably should have done that from the beginning. I always used to print by hand. It's very it takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of strength actually. If you're doing a lot of prints, you can really wear yourself out. See how is that looking? I can still see some of the lines from my from the spoon. I have to decide whether I want it really get it sharp. I guess I'm gonna have to because those lines don't look so good. I often don't know exactly what I'm after. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I just gotta figure it out. Sometimes I make, get myself into trouble. But I think like making art is getting yourself into trouble and getting out of it. We're trying to. When I say trouble, I mean your work has questions and problems and it's up to you to sort of come back to it. Figure out what the best course of action is. Sometimes it's the garbage can. These two prints are, uh, I don't know. Not that interesting to me right now, but you never know. Heading back to the Reinstitute with my block. I'll see you there. Hi, Jonathan. You must be back. <laughs> Can I turn these lights on? Sure. 
Not the fan. Not the fan. You know what I didn't say before was how uh, honored I am to be with these other artists and how wonderful their work is and how great this room looks and how all this work interrelates. It's very different, but there's all sorts of themes running through that seem to speak to each other. So I'm going to put this piece back on. Okay. And uh, make sure everything's straight. Next time I'll think, because I actually really need those little, these, I need these too, but I think really I'll leave them. I, I, I'll restrain myself. Okay, well, you, you can always come over and get them. <laughs> Borrow them back for All a right. short amount of time. And thank you, Henry. Sure, well, thank you, Jonathan. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. <laughs>